Hey guys, Strings here with another video for you today. Today I want to talk about the massive potential for modding this game has. For modders are already breaking the limits set in the universe of Starfield, allowing us to travel further on planets and even um, live more like landing zones and just amazing, you know, starting mods for this game. And it's going to be crazy when we finally get the full tools to actually be able to truly, you know, just mod this game beyond its limits so i'm going to start off by showing you one of the many mods that already been made in just a couple of days that this game has been released all right guys so i'm going to be starting off with showing you one of the many mods like i said the first mod being a uh, boundary boundary limit remover mod for when you're on you know any planet in the starfield universe usually right about of course, the uh, end of the tile, you'll start to get the uh, boundary limit reached, which is right about here where you can see this uh, like whited out area. But thanks to a certain mod that was uploaded recently, I believe it was yesterday, usually you'll get a massive message saying that you have reached the boundaries of, of the map and either to travel back to your spaceship turn around and just walk away or open the uh, planetary map but thanks to this mod we're able to literally just walk forward walk forward and just like that we're past the boundary limits so if modders can already do this in a game that's barely been out for just a couple of days just imagine what we can see in a few more days or even just a week maybe a ship building limit gone or Maybe even be able to travel from planet to planet without opening a single menu. You know, seamlessly have planet transitions or planet traveling, you know, traveling between each planet physically. I mean, there is an actual like meter counter for certain objects and actual certain uh, planetary distances to where you can see like your 200,000 kilometers away from a single planet or a single object and you can actually travel that distance but as far as I know we're not allowed to like actually travel from planet to planet just by our uh, main ship's engine alone or I should say not by you know just the player sitting there holding down the drive forward button you actually have to use you know a travel which travel system which has a loading screen which a lot of people, you know, are upset about, which I'm not one of those people, like, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Like, yes, it would be cool to explore, you know, bigger parts of the um, space you're in, you know, being able to travel from planet to planet, or be, even being on the ground, being able to travel like I am right now, across the entirety of the planet. Now, this does have a limit, unfortunately, but it's uh, more of a hardware limit or well, actually more of a game engine limit because after a while this will like if you travel further and further the game will eventually just straight up crash is what, is what I've been told like the modder himself said yeah after a while the game will just just crash but this has massive potential for when modders eventually do get the tools and like do learn how to more optimize the game and make more cool little modding enhancements and whatnot and they might even be able to allow full-on planet tr um, ground travel you know from each side of the planet like I do think we will eventually be able to actually travel around the planet itself But I do, I believe a, uh, a way that this could be done is like, since these are all broken up in tiles, what the modders could do is like make a system to where, like the first tile you're on, like once you leave that, like half that tile, the tile from the first tile disappears, while the tile on the second tile you're traveling to, you know, starts to appear. Like a loading and deloading system that allows you to travel from place to place, like to even be able to load in like, one, you know, once they have the system that collects all the data and information needed, they can like 
have like certain points of interest on the planet like if there's already points of interest it would just literally load this point of interest instead of um, loading a random procedurally generated one that you would like get from just marking landings up and like I said modders have even made it to where you no longer have a limit of five landing zones you can actually have over I believe the action limit is 50 which is still that's pretty cool that's like that's that's a lot you can have like 50 different landing zones for each planet so you don't have to worry about that uh, I can't show it off right now because only am at I'm at one landing zone and the system works where you have to travel to each one first which would take you know way too much time but yeah this doesn't just show potential for you know traveling across a planet or traveling from system and whatnot from one planet to another planet but uh modders could possibly even create well allow us to maybe even fly our own ships in the atmosphere in the tile in the you know specified areas and whatnot Maybe we might even be able to get seamless transition, like being able to get our ship take off and actually fly around and then just fly up out of the atmosphere. And it'll be like a seamless kind of like a no man's sky and whatnot. Which again, I don't really find to be, you know, too annoying or too disappointing. Like, yeah, it would be cool. Am I very disappointed you can't do that? Not really. Because at the end of the day, like this game is massive and like what Bethesda has accomplished is already amazing in and of itself. But like, it's crazy, like so many different types of mods can come from this. Like, for example, we apparently we can create our own planets, which that, that has massive potential. I can already see people making like Warhammer 40k planets, um, Star Wars, obviously, Halo, Star Trek, obviously... Like I was saying earlier, with like the, sh like probably modders already made a shipbuilding limiter, like they turned that off, and now we could probably make like massive starships the size of well, <laughs> size of this tile maybe, but I, I'm pretty sure like the that will eventually like break the game like too many things, being put in one area can't eventually break the game because it's too much loaded in and whatnot, too much data and all that stuff. But like look at this, I'm able to actually. Do what people were annoyed and disappointed by. I'm like, I'm already out of uh, out of the out of the tile bounds. Like, look at this. Like, I'm already out of bounds, or at least I'm on the line. Uh, should be able to travel a lot more. But again, it'll eventually cr crash. But again, I'm sure once the modders get all the tools needed and whatnot, they'll be able to even increase the limit of this to even where we might be able to travel across the entire planet on foot and even might get to the point where we have vehicles like there are a bunch of vehicles or at least like props of vehicles actually in the game you got like trailers you got mechs like ruined mechs and stuff but i believe there are like functional mechs i haven't played the game long enough to like find stuff like that yet but i have seen talk about it and seen a little bit of footage of it and like I'm pretty sure some modders, some way, is going to make it happen. Like, it, it's crazy. Like, I can already see people making, like, not making, but like porting all of, all of Fallout 4 to this game and making their entire planet just Fallout 4 based or Fallout New Vegas or even a Skyrim type of uh, planet where it's just Skyrim, you know, everything Skyrim related from dragons to the Dragonborn and all that stuff to. It, it, it's just crazy to think about and like it, it's crazy man like all this amazing stuff that could be possible it just depends on modders and the limitation of this game's engine like it it just baffles me, baffles me that this is real like Starfield's finally out and I already see massive potential for modding and I cannot wait to you know play more of this and get you know really engrossed in depth into the universe of Starfield, be able to like play so many different mods. Like uh, my current playthrough, I'm planning to do like what I call is the Halo run. It's pretty much I'm gonna make Halo Pelican, UNSC frigate, and from there I'll probably eventually get to like in-game type ships to like making like the Pillar of Autumn or even like Covenant type ships. And one of my main objectives is to find Halo type weapons. Or like look alike type weapons like uh, the SMG, 
which I have actually. I'm considering this the first Halo-ish gun because in Halo 5 you got an SMG. The Halo SMG, what, what is <laughs> As you can see, I think the text, the uh, game is breaking for, yeah, the textures are glitching out and everything. Which shows we're not supposed to be out here. <laughs> like, we are really not supposed to be out here, but yet we are. We're able to come out here. But yeah, this, I'm considering this my first Halo weapon because, again, the SMG with the on top magazine. It's about the only thing available to a Halo gun, pretty much, is, yeah. <laughs> or maybe this is even an SMG, maybe this is a sword, I, mean, I haven't really looked into that. But yeah, I definitely can't wait, because there's, there's definitely so much potential with this game and the modding. Like, we're going to see some crazy stuff. Like, there's already over 300, if not 500 mods by now. Of course, most of them are, like, skin... Like colors of skins for guns and other weapons and view and uh, the starship and uh, you know the different type of spacesuits and whatnot. They even have not safe for work mods, which is like of course they do. There's like all these different type of decals and whatnot. But yeah, the potential of this game is just amazing. I cannot wait to see what the modding community does. So I hope you all enjoyed this uh, pretty quick, pretty short little video. Hopefully it's a short video. I just wanted to really like talk about this and show off the potential of what's to come in the near future from being able to travel possibly across the entire planet, possibly travel from planet to planet in space, maybe have ground to space transition, seamless transitions. So maybe even having like a speeder bike or like so many different things like People have been talking about this stuff for months. Like people have already said they're going to be doing these types of mods and making the impossible possible for this game. So I definitely get yeah, that way. I love how like there's still stuff out here, even though we're past the boundary. There's still stuff out here you can scan, you can collect, even though we're way past the boundary right now. And like none of this stuff should be out here, but it is. It, it like makes me wonder like could modders actually like keep spawning in like as you can see there's no there's nothing out here but like resources and stuff that makes you think like could modern spot in like with, like cool little dungeons little cave systems buildings abandoned buildings all that type of stuff and the answer is obviously gonna be yes because this is a matter of time before modders like figure out all the things they need to do to make it possible to like have cool little stuff out here from buildings to small little encounters with like other humans that are exploring like i actually had a small encounter with just uh exploring this planet all the way oh, really far out there but up uh, is this it no it's like all the way back here there was a small there was like a ship that just randomly landed and I find that very cool. Just random ship landed, a bunch of random civilians just walking around exploring the planet. And that, that stuff like that is pretty awesome. Also, another encounter happened where... thought I heard something. Where I just uh, I came across this lady with, holding a shotgun and some guy on the ground just bleeding out. And it's like, oh yeah, uh, can you help me? Uh, we were attacked by some monsters. Can you give me a med pack? And so I did. And it's so cool. Like, modders can easily make more in-depth encounters like that and just add them out throughout the world and even possibly make their like own custom missions own custom encounters on their own custom planets it's just crazy to think about but yeah now i'm just rambling on way way too much broken uh <laughs> broken terrain right there <laughs> yeah now i'm just rambling on way too much so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here guys hope you all enjoyed oh did we just crash so yeah guys, uh, the game crashed like I said it would if you travel way too far out there. But uh, yeah, again, amazing stuff. Can't wait for like this be to be like, you know, optimized and you know, have better performance and obviously we'll be able to definitely travel a greater distance once modders, you know, get all the tools and whatnot. And people, you know, start putting a lot of real time and effort to all these mods. 
I definitely can't wait for like weapon mods and uh Yeah, definitely can't wait for like custom weapon mods. Definitely we're definitely gonna get some vehicle mods. And it's just gonna be a fun time. I'm gonna definitely start like a modding series on this game and you know, doing mod showcases. I'm still gonna obviously continue my um my first playthrough of this game. Hopefully y'all will tune in during those um, live streams because I'm gonna separate the two. I'm gonna do my full playthrough on you know live and I'm gonna do mo long form modding content. Maybe some short form in there. But yeah, if y'all enjoyed this uh, video, enjoy this you know take on uh what I think modding has you know potential in the future. Then I go ahead and leave a like, comment down below. Tell me what y'all think. Will modding be as big as everyone's hoping? As I'm hoping, or will it not be that grandiose and that big of a deal? And you know. But yeah, if you enjoyed, again, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below, what y'all think. If you wanna keep this channel alive, keep the channel going, support me down on Patreon as well. As always, remember to take a step back and enjoy life, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Alright. Peace.